Hi you guys, it is Trinity. If you're new, welcome. If not, welcome back. So, tomorrow I'm traveling to New Orleans. So today is December 20th and it's 12. I plan on leaving probably like around 3-ish because I'm not gonna go to the train station from where I stay. I'm gonna be going to spend a night in my other home. Get dropped off at the train station tomorrow. So I really need to go ahead and, you know, get everything done. I went ahead and got majority of things taken care of. The only thing I have to do is just my nails and pack. I don't want to waste too much time because I'm already doing this last minute. It's Wednesday. I'm supposed to be leaving at 8 in the morning tomorrow. Let's just go ahead and just get this out of the way. Because like there's one thing I do not like doing. I do not like packing because I tend to overthink. My birthday is on the 24th. So I have to pick out something that's cute enough to wear on my birthday. I don't even know exactly what I'm wearing on my birthday because I haven't had the time to really look or research. So, I don't know. It really just depends. I may just try to make something work from the clothes I have now or just end up buying something real cute once I'm out there. So, okay. So, the first thing I usually do once I start packing, I go ahead and get my essentials out the way, like my skincare products, my oral care. Things I use to do my hair. The last thing I really do focus on is just getting my clothes together. I do feel like starting off with this first and just focusing on the clothes last. It does make the process more, a little bit more smoother and easier for me. So I hope y'all stick around to enjoy the video so y'all can come pack with me. So I can reach So some of the stuff that I have, I'm gonna have to make a way for it to be travel size instead. I had just got this sugar scrub up to exfoliate my body with. Y'all can see that this is a big jar. So I'm just gonna have to take out some of this and I'm just gonna put it in a container like this so I can be able to still have, you know, some scrub because I don't exfoliate my body every night, but I really don't know how long I'm gonna be in New Orleans because I just got a one-way ticket. Every week still, I try to exfoliate my body at least two to three days out of the week. Couldn't find a stone, so I'm just gonna use this plastic fork. I'm not gonna take one of the ones that I already used. I'm just gonna take a brand new exfoliating glove. So I'm just gonna get the pink one. I'm gonna add that to my wash bag. Y'all basically saw everything I had in my skincare bag. So this is what I have in my wash bag. Got my two brush and toothpaste in here. And my face roller that I use every single day. Um, most times when I take a bath, I always use green alcohol because it makes me feel more clean. So I just, you know, pour some up in here. Got me a few little razors. Love soap. 
And even when I am traveling somewhere, I always have to bring my own face towels just in case. I wash my face with white towels only, so I'm just bringing three face towels, some cocoa butter body oil, and some Vaseline. The reason why I'm taking that entire jar is because I use Vaseline every single day. I brought a couple shower caps, my deodorant, and some lip exfoliator that I got from my cousin. She has a business. And I think that's everything I need. Looks cute. I don't think I'm gonna bring my whole makeup bag since because I really don't wear makeup like that. But I'm probably just gonna only wear makeup on my birthday. So I'm just gonna, you know, take out probably the primer, concealer, I don't know. And just like the makeup brush, because I don't really use much of it. But I'm not that good at doing makeup just yet. That's why I use very little amount when I do apply some makeup on my face. But I'm going to practice more one day. I am so proud of myself for setting up my own Christmas tree. And it came out so cute. And I got me some little gifts under there. And I ended up posting a real cute picture of my tree on my Instagram. It looks so cute. That's my little friend right there. I got my little Christmas tree and my gifts down here. It's almost 1 o'clock. I honestly expected this to take more longer. But I think I'm going to be able to leave on time. I don't know because once it gets down to the close, I promise y'all, it takes me forever. But I'm just about to continue packing. I'm going to yeah, get some of my makeup products and put some jewelry up in my little jewelry box right here i wear lots of jewelry so i don't really think all of it's gonna fit up in here but let's just see this portable charger in my closet so i'm just gonna go ahead and charge it so basically i have all this jewelry right here like all these we're both gold and silver jewelry so i'm gonna bring so i'm gonna bring the boat um it just really depends on my outfit you know on that day is what i decide to wear and i'm so disappointed because i wear necklaces and earrings more than anything but for whatever reason i order off shein i get mostly bracelets and i don't be understanding why i be doing it because i'm seeing all these braces i got and i don't even wear bracelets all the time i wear it sometimes but it's not my main thing depending on the outfit and the vibe i will wear bracelets but on a regular day i wear a necklace and earrings <laughs> Hey, told me about all your insecurities for what? Drag me like two hours to your family's house for what? Said you need some time, but I should stick around for what? Always felt like sticking around's the same as being stuck. That's that shit that drives me crazy. And like guns with the aching and getting under my skin. Pretty little young thing. Had a nigga come huffing, got me too excited. Oh, 
I'm just now about to get to the hardest part, which is my clothes. I still have no idea what I want to wear, but I honestly have to go like in like in about two hours because it does get dark early now. And I'm trying to catch a store so I can get some food. I'm really craving some Chinese rice. And it's this place I always go to called Benny's. I have to catch them before they close. They're about an hour away from where I stay. I have to go that way anyway to go to my second home, but I'm trying to really catch them so I can get me some rice. I don't usually bring a big luggage. As I said before, I don't know how many days or how long I'm staying in New Orleans. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just bring my biggest luggage just in case. And I'm gonna try my best not to make it too heavy. If I just have to end up getting some new stuff up there, I will do that. Plus I'm not gonna try to pack too much stuff anyway because when I do come back home, I'm also gonna have more things, more Christmas gifts to also pack. So we're finally about to pack our clothes. It's 2.09, it took me about two hours to do all this. And I have not ate anything at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. Righty. So it's almost time for me to go. Oh, he is banging. I may end up still taking out some clothes of my suitcase because I think I put too much. So we can't catch Benny's because like I said y'all it's an hour away and it's already five something and they close their kitchen at six. I already had some food in the refrigerator that I had forgot about so I ended up eating that. We're about to go to McDonald's so I can get my little brother a burger or something like that because he ate his leftovers last night. So. And, and so yeah, I have to make a couple stops and Sharky Road. And then after that, we're going to Tunica. Well, I wish, no, nah, did I show We're in the line. All right, Trinity, what would you like tonight? Um, can I just order um a box of cheese sticks and that'll be it? And like you. A box of cheese sticks? Yes. <laughs> and like you. Got you for a 
$6.97. Would you like to pay cash or charge when you arrive at that location, sweetheart? Um, I'm going to pay once I arrive. Okay, at that location. Okay, sweetie. In 25 minutes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. So we made it to Sharky Road and... I had to put some more gas up in my car. I'm gonna keep y'all updated on everything, but I'm about to drop them off.